Hi guys, it's Robert, and today we are gonna be tackling a simplified version of a craft that is literally hundreds of years old. But thanks to some modern materials, it couldn't be easier. We're gonna be doing paper marbling. And if you like the look of today's project, I want to invite you to subscribe to my own channel for more great DIYs by following the link in the video description below. Long before paper marbling was practiced in the Western world, Japanese masters were perfecting their own version called suminagashi. And there are suminagashi inks that are now available, made by modern manufacturers, and they float directly on the surface of the water, allowing you to lay down a piece of paper and capture whatever beautiful swirling designs you've created. The inks are relatively inexpensive, and I've included sources and links in the video description below. The first thing you'll need to start is a shallow tray. I'm using what's called a butcher's tray from the craft store, although you can just as easily substitute a dish pan or even a 9 by 13 baking dish. And then you want to fill it halfway to two-thirds full with water. Next, we'll select two of our ink colors and place five drops of each into two separate compartments of a paint palette. Take two brushes, place them into the ink, allowing it to soak up into the bristles. Next, take one of your brushes and just lightly touch the surface of the water. Immediately, you'll see the ink spread out over the surface. Then, take your other brush and touch that in the center. You'll see that color spread out as well. Alternate back and forth between the two brushes and you'll begin to see a pattern of concentric rings build up. Do this until you feel that the ink is about to run out, and then we'll go back to the paint palette and reload the brushes. You can make the pattern as large as you'd like, and then one way to manipulate the ink on the surface of the water is to take one paintbrush end and drag it through the surface. I'm going to do this dragging it from an outer ring towards the center at regular intervals around the circle, until I create a pattern that I like. Now we want to capture this on paper. There are several great types of paper that you could use for this project, but when you're first starting out, I found that white construction paper works beautifully. Take a single sheet, slide it up over the edge of the tray, and gently lay it on the surface of the water. Immediately, you'll see the pattern soak up into the paper. Let it sit for three to five seconds, lift it up, allow some of that excess water to drip off, and then place it down on paper towels. Blot the surface dry. Before we move on to our next print, we want to clean the excess inks off the surface of the water. Do this by taking some scrap pieces of newsprint and just dragging them through the water. For the next piece, we're going to try it with three colors. Place five drops of each into three separate compartments of your paint palette, and then load up your two brushes. Begin as we did before, creating the pattern of concentric rings. When the ink is about to run out, reload one of the brushes, but wash out the other one and load it with the third color. Then, at a random spot in your design, begin creating new rings with the two colors. A second way to manipulate the ink on the surface of the water is to take a drinking straw and very gently blow onto the water, creating all sorts of swirls and eddies. Play around with this technique until you achieve a composition that you'd like. And then take a piece of paper, gently place it on the surface of the water, let it sit for three to five seconds, lift it up, place it on paper towels, and pat it dry. You may find that the water warps the paper during the drying process. If this is the case, once they're dry, simply place them under a stack of books and let them sit overnight. This should help smooth them out. How you use your marbling paper is really up to you. You may find some patterns are so pretty that you want to frame them. Typically at the end of Kin Community videos, we include six projects that you might be interested in. Watch through to the end of today's video, I've selected six paper projects that would be perfect for using your new marbling paper. I do hope you'll give this project a try, have fun experimenting with different color combinations, and finding new ways to manipulate the ink on the surface of the water. Thank you so much for watching, and please join me next time for another great DIY.